How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip. Back to Sun and Fun and today we're going to check out another gyroplane out of Europe. Stay tuned, we're checking out the ELA Eclipse EVO. Gyroplanes have been sort of a phenomenon here in the US the last couple of years. As a matter of fact, I got introduced to them, I would say about four years ago, and we've covered just about one, one or two models on the channel. So when I spotted this, I thought, man, this is neat. Now, even as an enthusiast myself, when I look at this thing, it's like an airplane uh, helicopter in one, but really that's those rotor blades serve uh, a different similar mission but they work differently on uh, this structure than they do on a helicopter because as you can see here you do have a pusher motor okay naturally in a helicopter you you have the motor that's that's moving your your rotors but that doesn't have any power attached to it it's the airflow that's coming out of your pusher motor that's generating uh, some energy to for that to spin but that's a more technical thing but let me show you this beautiful bird man at first just looking at it I love the color scheme very simple white you've got some black <laughs> here on the wheels and if you come back here you can see nice matte gray color uh, for the prop cover and on the uh, cover here itself and then obviously you also got black on the prop and what I also love about the design, I think this is really neat. You can see the engine bay here that you can easily access and you can see right there 915. So this is a Rotax 915 engine. And again, speaking of that aerodynamic for gyroplanes, this is, it's just different. You do have some control surfaces back here, which is really your rudder, but you've got this stabilizer that you have back here. It's a fixed landing gear plane. So these are not retract. And unfortunately in the US, this is an experimental. Out in Europe, it is certified, but partly because of that engine and this is a fairly new product. As a matter of fact, this is the first model that they have here at Sun and Fun and in the US total. Uh, as you see back here, you have access to your fuel tanks. This aircraft has a fuel capacity of 21 gallons and that will give you about 400 miles of range. Now, speaking of that range, this is where you're gonna be spending your time flying anywhere. That's another beauty in this aircraft. I just love how clean, you can see a nice dark interior. I have no idea what texture this uh, plastic here is, but it looks good. Nice seating, both up front and behind and you can see you do have a control stick also back here so this aircraft can be flown from the back and just nice little details you can see you have an armrest in the back seat you don't necessarily have one here you do have your throttle uh, levers there and you have a nice uh, middle stick up here you have one screen and this is also typical even in the helicopter uh, or single seat helicopters by the way you would have a nice one screen here which is a dyno-on, and you have very few uh, electric switches here and your rudder pedals are all the way down there I don't know if you can see it let's try to get closer but you do have rudder pedals there and for the person sitting in the back I believe these are your rudder pedals uh, for the uh, back flyer and then you have your fuel selector back here now I imagine you should have one up front too uh, because if for <laughs> if you're flying up here you should be able to change your fuel maybe you just put your your hands to the back to get access to the fuel selector anyway I think this is a really neat design and you see here it does have some uh, some of the stats aerobatics prohibited do not do aerobatics in this airplane uh, front seat you can see the capacity 132 to 240 pounds and rear seat 240 pounds maximum your maximum gross weight or I believe the maximum weight to take off is 1230 pounds so if this was a light sport it will fit in nicely except it's not uh, it is an experimental and if you were to buy and build one they would help you build it 
but it's still it's still in the uh, experimental category now let me share some numbers with you for your speeds you're looking at 125 miles per hour in this aircraft now for a gyroplane that's actually probably the fastest speed I've heard about so 125 miles per hour and again the range 400 miles and to get all these nice goodies you're gonna be set back around hundred and fifty five thousand that's fully loaded with the Rotax 915 engine with your glass cockpit and everything as you see in this aircraft uh, it's about hundred and fifty five thousand dollars now obviously aircraft prices will change you know depending on what's happening with the market but if you have any questions about this gyroplane leave in the comments below and i'll forward it to them hopefully they can answer it for you but this is my review of the evo eclipse evo hope you enjoyed it if you did please give the video a thumbs up and if this is your first time be sure to subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it guys and also consider becoming a premium member here on youtube or head on to our patreon page and if you haven't yet make sure you follow mojo grip on facebook Thanks a lot, guys, and I will catch you on the next video.